So here we have the Mini Countryman on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have a digital readout for the speedometer, the total miles as well, which are 59,039 just there. And we have the main speedometer over in the middle here, uh, the fuel gauge as well. And then we have the radio. So down the bottom here, uh, you are able to access your AM, FM radio over from the left-hand side. DAB, CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input as well. You can either use this dial or the large buttons that are directly below the thing that you could be selecting. If we hit the menu button, this is where you pair your phone. Uh, you can access your onboard computer from here as well. And then we have the main volume for the stereo just there. Beneath that, we have the CD player. We have the climate control, so you can adjust the fan speed the direction the air is being distributed in and the temperature both up and down from here. Now, the air conditioning is on at the minute, so you can turn it off, back on again, or hit auto. When you do that, the car will take control of the fan speed, which you can hear and see it doing, and the direction of the air to maintain the temperature you've asked for. Uh, you can override that at any time you wish to. Uh, we have a rear heated screen just here as well. Beneath that, we can turn off the traction control, we can turn off the stop and start, we can lock the car doors from the outside and we have our front and rear fog lights as well, just here. We have a six speed manual gearbox and then auxiliary and USB inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.